Hi guys, what we're going to be doing today is a full body resistance band workouts. Okay, so a lot of you have got resistance bands now, they've become a lot more readily available. And I know a lot of you haven't trained with them before, so used to using weights in the gym. But resistance bands are really good for your home workouts, you can get a really good uh, workout in, get some good results. But if you've never trained them before, you're not experienced, then obviously it'll be good to go through a workout with myself, with a trainer, to make sure you can get good effective exercises in and you're making the most out of your bands. Right, so bands we can get, we can get all different types. I've got the ones where you've got several different bands and you attach them to the ends, I've got a lot of handles on. Doesn't matter, you don't need them. You can just use one resistance band for all the different exercises too. The handles just give you a little bit more options for different kind of grips. You can just use one band, gripping a band at the end, okay? Now with resistance bands, the more resistance you put in the bands, obviously the more tension you put on the muscle, the more difficult you're going to make your workout. So it's up to you how intense you want to make your workout. One thing I would say is we want to make sure we've got enough resistance in the bands when you're performing the exercises, that the exercises are challenging, that you're asking the muscles to move against that force, against that resistance. So we want the exercise to be tough, we don't want to just be doing the movements and no tension to be in the bands. We want to make sure that we're taking the muscle through the full range of movement for each exercise. Okay, so for example, just a quick example, so you're going to do a bicep curl. We want the curl to have enough tension and resistance in it, so it's challenging for the muscle. We get all the way to the top, you can feel that tension and the squeeze, controlling back down. So it's tough, it's challenging, but we don't want it to be too challenging that we can only get so far up there's too much tension in the band so we do want enough tension in the band for the exercise to be challenging but we want to make sure we can get each exercise done efficiently in a full range of movements all right so all you're going to need obviously is your band and you're going to need somewhere to clip the bands to wrap the band around down low and somewhere to wrap the band around up high so i'm going to use this fence post for a couple of the exercises so creating tension off that fence post and I'm going to use the bottom of my weight bench as well. So I'm going to wrap the, weight, wrap the band around the weight bench, obviously that's another way to create tension in the band for different exercises. So you can just use like a five door handle and down low maybe underneath a chair leg or something like that or a leg on your sofa, a leg on your chair just some way you can create tension with the band okay so the exercises that we're going to do we're going to do six different exercises we're going to do four rounds the time we're going to do is 45 seconds on 15 seconds rest okay so pretty long sets so we can put as much tension on the muscle as we can and you get 15 seconds rest so there's enough time for you to adjust your band between exercises go on to the next station and then get onto that next set so the exercises that we're going to do are, the first one is back exercise, we're going to do seated low rows. So we're going to use, like I say, I have your chair leg, back on your sofa, I'm going to use my bench. Wrap the band around into your seated position. So you can use the handles if you've got the bands with the handles on for your grip, or obviously just grip the bands either side, so your palms are facing each other. Gonna come away creating enough tension so it's challenging keep your chest up so we're not arching over chests up and we're going to be rowing keeping the elbows close to the body as you come back squeezing the shoulder blades together controlling back down so we still want tension in the band when the arms are fully extended we don't want it to be slack we want to make sure we can get right out of the way back and there's not too much tension in the band so we can't really get a full range of movement and get those elbows back behind the body Right, so you're going to do 45 seconds on, control reps, squeezing at the top, taking the muscle through full range. 15 seconds rest, and then the next exercise we're going to do, that simple, is bicep curls. So we're just going to stand on the middle of your band, so it's equal, equal each side, create some tension. So at the top, it is hard, it is difficult, squeeze. We're just going to come up, split stance, chest up, elbows locked into the side of the body, curl up squeeze back down just focusing on those biceps we're not allowing the elbows to move from the side of the body keeping tension on that muscle all the way through 45 seconds 
Right, then you get your 15 rest, go on to the next exercise, which you're going to need, say your door handle, something to wrap the bands around up high, I'm going to use my fence post, I'm going to do face pull, so upper back, three adults, we're going to be working, say so use your grips, or if you've just got a normal band, and we're just going to go into a normal overhand grip, great up tension, come away, split stance, chest up again, we're going to be rowing in towards the face, Controlling back down. So like we do face pulls and sessions, usually on the cable machines exactly the same. Keeping the elbows up high, squeezing those shoulder blades together, keeping tension in that upper back and on those rear delts. Right, after that, fourth exercise we're gonna do is chest flies. So we're gonna keep the band over that door handle, fence post in that case. Make sure there's an equal length on each side. You're going to turn around, you're going to do chest flies, so working your pecs, focus on that muscle throughout. Come away into a split stance, creating tension, palms are facing each other. And now we're going to press forward, do flies, okay? So the arms are coming across the body. You feel a real good squeeze on the chest, squeeze and control back. Using bands, we've really got to focus on what muscle we're actually working. We're not just moving a band from A to B. We can try and focus and put all the tension of the band and resistance into the muscle that we're working. So the chest, squeeze, try and feel a good squeeze across the pecs, hold, control back, right the way back, arms coming back across the body. So that's chest flies. Then onto the legs for the next two. What we're going to do next is squats, okay? So if you're long enough band, we're going to stand shoulder width apart on top of the band. Okay, so your feet are about, well, about hip width apart. And we're going to bring the handles up to the shoulders. Nice and controlled. So there's a lot of tension there at the top. And control down. So the band's loosening, band's slackening. And we're going to drive up through the heels. And pressing against the resistance of that band, so tensions on the quads, glutes and hamstrings as you drive up through the heels from the side, keeping my back nice and straight, nice and parallel, down as deep as we can into the squat, pushing back up. And do squats, 45 seconds, 15 rest, and then what we're going to do is a hip hinge movement, we're going to do RDLs with your band. So what you're going to have to do, lay the band out across the floor. And same again, we're going to go about shoulder width apart with your feet, standing on top of the band. We're going to grab the band in the middle. So grab the band in the middle, pull it up, and you've got that tension. So you've got that band now in both hands. Chest up. We're going to do a hinging at the hips, pushing the bum back, keeping the back nice and straight, so you can feel that stretch in the hamstrings, and we're driving back up. Right, and as we push back up, creating resistance in that band, so we're asking the glutes, the hamstrings, and the lower back to do all the work in that hip extension. So nice and controlled, good stretch on the back of the legs, drive through. Alright guys, there are six different exercises, so we'll quickly get warmed up, and then we can get going. So as you've got your band, you can do your warm-up with your bands, okay? So we'll do pull apart. Pulling apart of the chest, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Right, so we're going to your up and overs. So from the thigh, up and overhead. To your bum, get the shoulders opened up. We're going to squat, get the legs, hips opened up a bit. You're going to need the 4515 track from the members area of your website, whichever device you're using. 
I'm going to do the whole workout with you, every set, every rep. And just before we start, it's worth pointing out again, really try and focus on the muscle that you're actually working with resistance bands. We want to put all the resistance from the band into the actual muscle we're working. So bear that in mind throughout your workouts. Guys, at your first station set up, it's going to be seated low rows. Get your band set. We'll go start the music 45 15 in a minute. Quick drink. All right, we'll get a game of your music. So it's 45, 15 track. Your six different exercises. You're going to do four rounds all together. Three, two, one. All right, way we go. Seated rows. Down. Break that tension. Chest up. Row back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And fully extend the arms on the way down. Drag the elbows back behind the body, not coming too high. Halfway there. Guys, it's too easy for you, put more tension in the bands. It's a bit difficult. Take a bit of tension out. Great, 15 seconds. Grab your bands, you want to bicep curls. So standing in the middle of the band, elbows locked into the side of the body. Upright posture, arms fully extend, you're going to curl up, squeeze at the top, and back down. Pause for a couple of seconds at the top on that squeeze. Slowly control back down. First station, you're going to go on to your face pull, so wrap it round high pivot points, come away, create that tension, we're going to be rowing, keeping the elbows up, we're not rowing into the chest, into the face, nice and high, squeeze, fully extend. Elbows high. Get your biceps too as well as your back. Alright, great. Set up your chest wise, so we're staying in that upper position with your bands. Come away, creating tension, split stance. Control back, stretch, drive together. Driving your arms across the body, squeezing the pecs. Focus on that chest, that's what we're trying to work. So we should be feeling all the tension going to, especially on the squeeze. Two second holes, control back. Guys, next up onto legs, squats. 
going to go shoulder up the part with your band standing on top of it. You're going to bring the handles of the band up to the shoulders. You're going to go into your squats nice and deep. Push through the heels, back nice and straight, core tight all the way through. Yards next, so lay that band out on so cross the floor, shoulder width with your feet, and you grab the middle of the bands. Got quite a lot of tension in this one. Chest up, hinging at the hips. Focus on keeping that back straight as you push your bum back, spot on, stretching out the hamstrings. Having the glutes through and trip extension. Awesome guys, first round done. Back to your city rows. If anything was too easy, put more tension in the band. Sit your rows, chest up, and row back, squeeze, scroll down, keeping that chest up, dragging the elbows back behind the body. You want to be focusing on the lats on each side of your back, and also on your upper back too, and your shoulder blades pinched. Bicep curls. Set was too easy last time. A bit more tension in the bands. It's locked. Now we've got the handles. Just going to hammer curl so your palms are facing each other. Position for your band, your face pulled. So with an extension, split stance, again chest up, and row back in towards the face. The elbows up high. Next. 
position, shows enough tension. Move arms out, nice and wide. Drive back, squeeze. Anti hip hinge, saw the owls. You create a lot of tension in the band at the bottom. It's about hip width apart from your feet. Give it nice and deep, put stretch down the back of the legs. Five seconds rest, two rounds done, two rounds left. Self set up for the next round, back to seated low rows. Guys, any exercise feels easy, create more tension in the bands. Get as set as challenging as you can. Back to your lower rows, chest up, driving back, squeeze. Tension at the top, squeeze, barren. <sighs> Going all the way down to the arms fully extended, squeeze the tricep at the bottom. Before we come up into that elbow flexion, squeezing at the top, your bicep. 
It's a lot more intense for me, but still making sure I'm getting a full range of movement in. I'm doing half reps. Great guys, we're done. Face pulls next. And your door handle, fence post, whichever it may be. Tension. Keep your elbows high as you row back, okay? Chest up, back straight, elbows high. And towards the face. Put the second pause on the hold. Slowly back down. on to chest flies next. Let's make sure we're getting a little squeeze in the front of the body across your chest. Alright, create your tension. That's super challenging. Make sure we can get all the way through the range of movement though. So right that wide stretch, drive across. Squeeze. Squats, shoulder width. Drop it driving up through the heels, pushing with your quads against the resistance of the band. Focus on your form, knees staying low with the toes. Can. Trying to get parallel, keeping the feet flat. Alright, guys, last one. We're going to do back to your RDLs. You lay the band out. Again, shoulder width. Taking up the middle of the bands. A lot of tension in it at the top, hinging down, stretch the hamstrings, back the legs, drive the hips through, squeeze the glutes, keeping that back straight, shoulder blades pinched together all the way through. Done. 45 seconds, one more round. Oh, God. Get your CP row set up one more time on each. <laughs> Back 
Great up tension, tough challenge in the mount. Chest up, throw back. Extending the arms and squeezing the shoulder blades together. Just drive it back. Alright, oh. 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 some five step curls, guys. Same again. Sure, there's enough tension. Again, elbow Jeff was. Shoulder width from the band, and we'll up to the shoulders. Guys, last exercise or the owls, hip engine, fixing the back of the body. Sure, you've got enough tension. You should 
pull that band off when you start. You're gonna focus on the back of the legs and the hamstrings. Should be getting a really good stretch when that chest's parallel to the ground right at the bottom. Set focus on just pushing your bum out, sticking your bum out as high as you can to start the exercise. Nearly there guys. Let's get one more in. Awesome. Bit of effort guys. Couple of minutes to get stretched off, well done. Absolutely shattered. Like I say, you've got resistance bands, you can get really good workouts in, really effective. You're focusing on the muscle and you're working out properly with them, you can get really good results with them. Good tool to have, especially for home workouts. Right, so we get stretched off and stretching chest, arms out wide, all those chest flies. And there, split stance, the arms out in front of the body, pushing forward, stretching out your back. That's great, move on to your shoulders, arm across the body. On. Right onto your quads, so it'll pull the heel up to the bum. As you'll know guys, feel that workout, you know now you can get a really good effective workout in from using resistance bands. So, only dead cheap, you can readily available now, order them online loads of different types but whichever ones you can just adds a different dimension to your home workouts even if you've got weights even if you've got free weights at home still a good investment to have just gives you a bit more variety for your workouts we'll finish off stretching out hamstrings those RDLs are nice and deep holding it down at the bottom Alright guys, that's great. Hope you enjoyed that. Full body resistance band workouts. Have a great day. See you again soon.